Hi, I'm Kevin. My wife Kanai is behind the camera. This is our 2006 Honda Odyssey minivan camper. Let's take a look inside. This is our idea of a camping build. And it's what works for us. So we're just showing you this um, to maybe give you ideas. This is an evolutionary process for us. We're learning a lot as we go. Um, we've built and rebuilt this thing a few times and we're gonna to continue to tweak it as we go and make improvements. We have this set up currently um, pretty much ready to go for camping. So this is a high level video of the setup. So I'm just gonna quickly walk you through this, try to be as efficient as possible. We have a shoes off policy. We always kick our shoes off. Um, right now we're utilizing a cooler until we figure out a more permanent uh, refrigerator solution which would probably involve a, a power station uh, but for now this is working we actually freeze water bottles add it to the cooler it acts as ice keeps everything cool for us as we head out on our journeys um, we have a tote here which we store our water uh, we have a zero filter which is awesome it purifies water we actually have additional bottles for cleaning and adding uh, for water fil filtration my wife scored this at a Goodwill or a Salvation Army dirt cheap. It's a, it's a, it was a great addition. It's where we house all of the kitchen utensils for cooking. Uh, everything is in this. And what's fantastic about this is I can actually pull it out. It's not fastened down. I can pull it out and bring it to the picnic table or anywhere we're cooking. And everything's right there within reach uh, when we need it, when we're doing our cooking. We actually bungee this to, uh, in place so nothing shifts on us while we're driving. We've utilized uh, an L-shaped configuration. We've seen a lot of configurations. We went with L-shaped because it was unique. We don't see a lot of those. And actually we prefer this uh, for our sitting um, when we're in, in, in sofa mode. We can face different directions. My wife will lay across the back or sit across the back. So there's different, we're not stuck to just facing one way or the other. There's some, there's some um, freedom here to kind of free range, if you will. Um, we have basically added shelving, which is a work in prog progress. Uh, but behind here, we keep our sheets and our bedding with a pillow. We can pull this out and behind it is all of our toiletries. So that's just a handheld basket where we can take it to the camping showers. Uh, when we're ready to do our showering and our cleaning. Uh, what we'll do is we'll unpack some of the clothes that we have whenever we set up camp and utilize shelving for our clothes storage. We have uh, additional storage, actually. We've utilized as much storage as possible, so we built this raised. It's actually a slat bed pullout that will pull out into a full size, or about a full size bed when we want it to be in bed mode. But we've built this um, so we can access from below. We Right now, we're currently, as a temporary solution, utilizing Costco boxes um, for a lot of our storage needs until we find a more permanent solution. But we have a cook stovetop here, uh, various non-perishable foods, a couple boxes in and underneath where we'll store non-perishable foods for food prep. We don't do any cooking in the van, nor do we intend to. And you can see this lifts up uh, so we can access from above and we can also access from below. Uh, <clears throat> As we're set up right now, we have a couple uh, baskets bungeed in. These are our clothes, which I said we would unpack uh, when we set up camp. So I'll bring you around the back just so you can see a view from the back. Storage is very important. As space is very limited in these. Uh, here's another bag that has our comforter for sleeping. Um, also, doubles up as a cushion if my wife wants to sprawl out where I do on the back here. We've piano hinged this piece of plywood down. The, the whole construction of this is pretty much two by three lumber uh, with three quarter inch plywood. Behind here, we actually have a lot of storage. The third row seat was pulled out. Uh, we have Reflectix for privacy. The whole van can be blocked out. We pack telescopic poles, a tent which comes in very handy for storage. It's a pop-up uh, Insta tent which sets up real quickly. Camping chairs, additional cooktop, there's tools, uh, a mosquito net my wife designed for the back of this. It fits right into the, the gasket. 
we'll show additional videos on on different components as we move along in this YouTube channel. Um, so storage was very important to us. This is pretty much the high level overview of our build. Uh, more a work in progress, more to come. Um, we do plan on breaking down individual videos, uh, probably on different components of this build as we move forward uh, in the YouTube channel. So if you like what you see, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, ask any questions you might have, and subscribe and follow so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.